guys and welcome back to another episode here at Tours to Local. My name is Juliana and for those of you guys who don't know, I have spent six months working aboard a cruise ship in the Caribbean. When I did my first contract, let me just tell you, I did not pack things correctly. I learned last contract the things that I should pack and things that I shouldn't, which is why I prepared this video for you guys today to teach you guys what to pack when you're working on a cruise ship. Now, I am by no means a minimalist. I tend to pack a lot, I like to have a lot of options, however this is as minimalistic as I could get and I think it is, I finally nailed it guys, so I hope these tips are helpful for you guys. Now this packing list is for those working in a warm environment such as Australia or the Caribbean or Mexico. This is not what you would pack probably for an Alaska itinerary. Also keep in mind that I am entertainment, so therefore I have a lot more independence to wear the clothes that I want. Um, your position obviously will differ, so make sure you read um, your contract to figure out what your exact uh, requirements for uniforms will be like. This is everything that I'm bringing for six months of working on a cruise ship. It does seem like a lot of stuff, but don't worry, it does condense into just this bag, I hope. <laughs> I haven't actually tested it out yet, so you're gonna find out just as I do. One nice thing is that your cruise line will most likely pay for your luggage. Mine does, and they pay for two bags, which means I can take two of these huge ones. I'm trying to just take one because I don't want to have to store an extra bag, and if I do end up getting extra stuff on the ship that I buy in port, I can always get another bag and take it back with me. But I'm just going to go with one bag and one carry-on, and we're going to see all the stuff that I'm taking, so let's get into it. First off, we're going to start with our uniform. During the daytime, you will be provided a uniform you can wear. Each position is a little bit different. It depends what your position is that you're going into. Since I'm in entertainment, I'm given a daytime uniform and asked to provide my own formal wear at night. Now, since my position does involve me being in the public a lot, I really want to make sure that I look good. Um, I'm allowed to wear whatever I want at night. However, check with your cruise line to make sure that you are not given a uniform to wear in the nighttime. If you are a position like a bartender, waiter, housekeeper, guest services, um, something like that, you will be asked to wear the uniform they supply you all the time. Um, unless you're walking in public areas, you do need to make sure that you're wearing something that is business casual, okay? So um, one thing to also look into is how many formal nights your cruise will have if you do have a position where you can wear your own clothes. Mine has two, so therefore I need to make sure that I have at least two formal wear outfits. Okay, now getting into it, we're gonna start with our formal wear outfits, let's see what we got. So for formal wear, I am bringing three long dresses. The first one is one that I used for my friend Rachel's um, wedding. It's an old bridesmaid dress. My second dress, I'm really excited about. I got um, these next two ones at Macy's. It was in the prom section. It has this nice beaded top. And then it's long at the bottom. My last one is definitely my most formal dress. So it's like a high-low one. It's short right here, and then it has this beautiful, like, flowy gray train to it. During my last contract, I learned that I hate to dress myself. Um, picking out a bottom and a top is so, so stressful. So I decided that this contract, I would do all dresses. Plus, sometimes I have some quick changes, so throwing on a dress is just mindless. So I picked um, six of my favorite dresses. The first one is very business casual. It's just kind of like floral, short dress. Next, I brought a long-sleeved white dress. Next one, it's like this white tight dress um, with like these strappy shoulders. Next one is a pink um, shift dress kind of thing. Next, I think a simple black dress is always a good choice. And lastly, uh, this one is like a puffier dress, black and white. This would just be worn on a regular night that's not formal night. I am also bringing two maxi skirts. This one I love. It's one of those midi pink skirts. And I would wear it with um, either, I brought, I'm bringing both, this black crop top or this white crop top. So, depending on what the vibe is on the ship, I might need to adjust the dresses I'm bringing so it's good to have a little backup. Then I'm bringing a, a really long maxi pink skirt. And I might actually wear this on the beach if I don't wear it during my evenings on the ship. Next, I'm bringing some black pants. I do not plan on using these unless I need to. I remember that one time there was uh, a particular event that required me to have black pants, so I'm just bringing these just because I think I might need them, um, but I don't really want to use them. 
That's one thing about working on this ship is you don't ever want to wear pants. Uh, well, it depends on where your contract is. All of mine have been in the Caribbean, so putting on pants is just like, ugh, it's the worst. Notice, like, also you'll see I'm not bringing a pair of jeans because there is just no reason. You feel so sticky and just like humid and you don't want to wear pants at all, so avoid it at all costs. That's why I'm bringing dresses. And as for outerwear, just a simple black cardigan to cover up my shoulders. Um, on my last ship, our hotel director wasn't strict about our uniform. We could have our shoulders exposed, we could have spaghetti straps, um, but I don't know what to expect with my new ship. So it might be a little bit stricter, or it might not. I'm not sure, so I'm bringing a cardigan, just in case. And I will be bringing a black leather jacket. I just got this and I'm obsessed with it. So I want to put it to good use and I think it'll work nicely with my outfits. And next, moving into my actual daytime uniform. I'll show you guys what I am given as an entertainment employee. Four polo shirts. So um, these were given to me in my last contract. You'll get them once you get on the ship. Um, so I have to bring these back. I was also given a jacket. It's fun. I actually love this jacket. I would wear it today, probably, if I could, but people will judge me. Three pairs of shorts, I think I had more but I lost them, and a pair of pants. On my ship, we are required to have red shoes during the daytime, so I have a pair of Keds I bought. Birkenstocks, I wear Birkenstocks and socks, don't hate, don't judge, it's what I do and I love it. You want to have a pair of shoes that are like slippers to you, that are comfortable to walk around in when you're just getting from room to room during your free time. Um, because you're not going to be wanting to wear shoes since you've been wearing them all day. So also bring a pair of flats. Ladies, you will be on your feet a lot. Next is some white Converse. I'll wear these in port. Next, running shoes. Shoes, it's a good... Ow. <laughs> it's a good thing to have. Next is some sparkly shoes that you could wear for your formal nights. A lot of the ships don't allow you to have open-toed shoes. Um, when you're in public. So I think you can get away with peep toe, like if it's a little bit of your toe showing, but you can't wear sandal type of shoes, so you're going to have to wear pumps. I hate this concept of wearing pumps with a long dress, but that's what I gotta do. So I'm wearing these. Nude heels or some colored heels that go with all of your outfits. Gladiator sandals, these always jazz up my outfits, so I wanna bring some of those for the beach. And a pair of rubber sandals. You can either bring flip-flops. I use Ipanema's. I've talked about this a million times. Um, but Ipanema's, they look super fashionable and they're made out of rubber. So they're really great for the beach. So that is all of my uniform things. I'm going to start packing, since I already got into the shoes, I'm going to start packing those and start putting stuff in here. Roll your clothes. That's first tip. Roll your clothes and it all fits better. This is getting into our casual daytime outfit. First with gym stuff, six shirts. Because I tend to do laundry once a week, so six shirts should be prime. Next, we have to have bottoms for our fitness stuff. So I am bringing, of course, the um, most basic pants in the world, Lululemons. Uh, another pair of like capri types of uh, pants. These are some gray Nikes. And compression shorts, because why not? And some exercise shorts. So the ship gets very cold, okay? I was thinking, I'm going to the Caribbean. I can just pack beach stuff. Wrong. The ship, it feels like Antarctica, where the crew sleeps. So you will want to bring like a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Comfy clothes. That is key. That is one thing I did not think to pack. So I'm bringing a pink sweatshirt, a zip up one to wear. Um, I'm bringing some Adidas pants because these are life to me. This in Burks is the most ideal outfit in the world. And some sweatpants, some pink ones to lounge in. Socks. You will see that I have a lot of socks. I hate doing laundry every week. I try to extend it as much as possible, so getting a lot of socks is a really good idea because you need them. It sucks when you have to go to work and wear close toed shoes and you don't have socks. So I'm bringing a 10 pack plus another 10. The reason I have it like this, let me have you take a look at this. First off, I'm bringing a bottle of perfume that's inside of here, okay? You take the bottle of perfume, you put it in a sock, and then you put a sock on the sock, a sock on the sock, a sock on the sock. 
like this, and then you unroll them. So this is a great way to store your socks and keep your perfume or whatever glass things you bring safe. In addition to that, bring a fun pair of socks if you're on entertainment. Because, find out like what the colors of your uniform are. For us, it's red and blue. I wonder what company I work for. And, um, yeah, bring some like knee-high socks. They're fun for parties. You look really cool. And then also, um, my dog's crying. Also, I know it's dorky, but bringing like a couple of sweatbands if you're on entertainment. Like this. It's just like, it shows you're a fun person. I, would, I bought these, my mom was like, why'd you buy those? This is so not my look. I was like, it just makes you look like a fun person. So get some of these if you're on entertainment. And people will love you. They'll think you're funny. As you can see, we've already reached like the brim. But that's okay. This, I really don't have that much left. And the rest will go in my carry-on. Next, you're going to want to bring a couple bags. Just three. Just three bags, guys. No more. Beach bag. A satchel type of bag. My department gave me a backpack for like carrying around all of our entertainment things because like, we had a lot of trivia sheets and everything. Um, however, it was really small. So I'm just bringing, this is brand new, my mom bought it for me, my mommy, Bonnie, thank you Bonnie, um, this nice black Jan Sport. It's good to have a backpack also for if you go off in port and you don't want to bring a beach bag, you want to bring like a, you know, you, you want like your camera stuff or something in here, I don't know. Um, I will use this on the plane, so I'm not even going to pack it. Yes. A hat. I love hats. This one is kind of lame because it doesn't fold up, but another hat. I'm bringing a baseball cap because Martine and I bought matching baseball caps because I forced him to. And I feel bad if I don't bring it because he'll be there. And what if he brought his? So I want to make sure we match. Because we are, we want to be on Amazing Race. And they always have matching outfits, so... Brings us one step closer. Next, I'm bringing like a beach towel kind of thing. Um, it looks like this. It's a circular, oh, it's so cool. It's like a circular mandala. I'll be bringing four or five swimsuits. I originally, when I first came on the ship, this is another thing that just shows you how much I didn't know when I first packed. I brought one swimsuit for six months in the Caribbean. Meanwhile, everyone was looking super cute, and I had one swimsuit. And I felt lame and I wanted to change things up because I was going to the beach every day. Like, I wanted to have something different, you know? So I'm, I'm bringing five now. Next, I'm bringing like a beach maxi dress. Next, I'm bringing only three pairs of shorts. Jean shorts, black jean shorts, and like flowy shorts. Those are the only three I'm bringing. Next, um, a couple more beach items. Uh, it's like a wraparound skirt, and then a regular old crochet cover-up. This is gonna have to go in another bag. Let me go grab my other bag real quick. So I grabbed my other carry-on because this is going to need to be used as well. So my last clothing kind of thing, nine shirts. Oh, this is what I bought today actually. White kind of tank top thing, boom. Pink kind of tank top thing, this is more of a crop top. Looks cool with my shorts. Uh, V-neck t-shirt, great for just chilling in. These are all really basic. Uh, gray tank top. These are basically all from Forever 21. There's a couple that are from Lulu's or, um, what's the other place called? American Eagle. Uh, this one's a white crop cami that I will wear with my long maxi skirt. Um, this one's another cropped shirt that I love with my maxi skirt, so I think that's really cute. Uh, black camisole strappy thing. Green tank top and a tan tank top. You're going to need a laundry bag. Didn't think this one through also my first contract. This one I just got on Amazon. It's huge. You will want to bring a sh shoe rack or two. I'm bringing two. Um, this mesh one hangs over the door and you can store your shoes that way. I didn't find that there was anywhere for me to store my shoes in the cabin that was like a really efficient place. So hanging them over the door was really, really cool. This one is going to go over the door of the bathroom to store all of my toiletries and hair stuff, things like that. So two of those are really great to have. Also, of course, a brush to brush your hair. 
I think it's great to get a little roll of magnets. All the walls in our cabin are magnetic so you can stick pictures and things to it. Also some command hooks. These are really great to have just to stick like things to the wall, like just decorations and things. Just bring a watch! Another thing I didn't consider, uh, you'll need to know the time and you can't often have your phone out in public places on the ship. So having a watch is definitely good. Bring a pair of nice sunglasses. Uh, bring an extension cord. These are not technically allowed, I don't think. Um, however, you never get in trouble for them really. So they're good because you usually only have four outlets in the room. They're all next to the desk and they're really hard. It's really hard if you want to look at your phone at night or something, so have an extension cord. Have some hair stuff, I'm bringing a straightener and a curling iron because I'm pathetic and just can't pick one. A water bottle, Oop. water bottle, uh, even though they sell bottled water on the ship, having your own water bottle. They, they usually sell like big gallons of water, so if you pour it in the water bottle, it's just really effective. And lastly, I'm bringing a travel thermos uh, for a, therm a travel mug because they're really good to get free coffee from crew or staff mess, fill it up and walk around instead of having to buy coffee on the ship. A couple things I didn't mention because I want to keep this video short that you should bring. Of course your makeup, you're going to want to bring makeup, you're also going to want to bring underwear. I didn't show that because I think that's weird to show that on the internet. Bring your cameras and laptop, that's going to be taking up a lot of room. Toiletries, of course, you'll probably just want to bring travel size toiletries and then buy full size containers once you get to your first port. Also make sure you bring things like tweezers and scissors, just random stuff like that. And of course some jewelry to make your outfits look a little bit more pulled together, just a couple of pieces is fine. As well as bring all of your documents you need, such as your passport and all of that information, like your medical and things that you had to fill out before you get to the ship. You don't want to forget that. Put it somewhere safe that you will have with you at all times. That's all for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all uh, about cruise life. Stay tuned for more videos every Monday. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, make sure you keep the spirit of a tourist and the mind of a local. Whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!